charitable organization uh, that has several, several different goals, but one of the goals of the Yama organization is to educate families about what to put into their bodies. Uh, I try and make eating well uh, fun and affordable for the whole family. You know, the thing is that if childhood obesity continues at the rate it's going, this generation of kids may be the first in American history to not outlive their parents, to live shorter lifespans than their parents. We're trying to put a stop to that, and we are certainly making strides. A good friend of mine brought me two stories of very special women who are doing their part in their communities, and we wanted to share their story with you. Please watch this. All right, let's go. Put your backpack. I picked him up from school one day, and customarily I, I asked him how his day was, and he was mentioning a number of snacks that he had eaten throughout the course of the day, and all of them were very sugary. Good morning. Good morning. My principal suggested that I start a school wellness council, so I did. It is a program through the Alliance for Healthier Generation, which is funded by the Bill Clinton Foundation and the American Heart Association. The Wellness Council is made up of a group of teachers and administrators who help plan menus and choose physical activities. For example, Come on. This way. between 8 and 8.30 when kids arrive at school, instead of them just sitting in the gym and just hanging around waiting for the bell to ring, they actually move. That's it! Hit. Thank you. Change for Fitness is actually our last project for this year. We're actually raising money to remake our service road into a walking trail. This walking trail will give kids a sense of accomplishment because they will know that they can actually make things happen. We're trying to like walk around the world. Yeah. We had the walkathon before we were involved with Bill Clinton's Alliance for Healthier Generation, but they yeah. really helped us expand on the program. The first year we did the walkathon, we walked on dirt around here. The money we raised the first year, we built the walking track. Each lap around the track is a quarter of a mile. We add up the miles and use a world map to see how far we've walked. It's gonna take us three years to get around the world, right? Yeah. yeah. This all started when I realized that most fundraisers are about selling candy and junk food. If we raise money by raising our fitness levels at the same time, then everybody wins. kitchen and, and I want to hear from both of you ladies how can you get other moms that may be watching you or dads to get out there and get involved in their communities to get involved in their kids health and fitness I think the first thing parents can do is just really start taking a look around their school survey what is being offered in the cafeteria find out how much PE time kids are actually getting each day and just let the school know that you are interested in some healthier alternatives at your school. And that you're offering, offering to volunteer. I mean, I think people, don't you find that people just assume that there's a big bureaucracy that you're gonna have to go through if you wanna have the kids walk on a walking trail? There is, and yeah. there, there really wasn't. It was easy. Bureaucracy. It was, oh, they're really happy to have people come in and say, I wanna take charge of something. Yeah, they want yeah. help, they want support. Mm -hmm. Be there for them. Absolutely. Well, I, I said that uh, we could not take credit for finding these, these wonderful stories and bringing them to everyone. Uh, a good friend of mine actually brought us the story of both of these special moms. He's here with us today. Please welcome President Bill Clinton. <laughs> So Mother's Day is coming up. Do you have a special message for these two moms? What these mothers are doing for their children and other people's children is really important. I, we're going to try to use Mother's Day on my Facebook page on this hmm. to promote more people doing this kind of work. And, you know, I, you, and, you and I have been working on this for some time now. Yep. This is uh, not my first time in the kitchen. One of these days she's going to feed me if I keep coming. <laughs> but, but, uh, but, Every time he comes by, we give the food away to the moms. We were, we were talking backstage. You know, this, this child health problem is America's most serious public health challenge. We've got 2.7 million kids now that are affected by this, but we've got to take this message all across the country. So I think what they're doing is great, and I think the fact that you featured them is great, and every... Every school in America just needs one parent like them to That's start, right. and then they can it move it over. It shows you the power of one. 